For what then matters is to bear witness to the uniquely human potential at its best, which is to transform a personal tragedy into a triumph, to turn one's predicament into a human achievement. I try to do everything as soon as possible and not at the last moment. This ensures that, when I am overburdened with work, I will not face the added pressure of knowing that something is still to be done. At such a moment, it is not the physical pain which hurts the most and this applies to adults as much as to punish children, it is the mental agony caused by the injustice, the unreasonableness of it all. The more one forgives himself, by giving himself to a cause to serve or another person to love, the more human he is and the more he actualizes himself. As for the concept of collective guilt, I personally think that it is totally unjustified to hold one person responsible for the behavior of another person or a collective of persons. View life as a series of movie frames. The ending and meaning may not be apparent until the very end of the movie, and yet, each of the hundreds of individual frames has meaning within the context of the whole movie. Then I grasped the meaning of the greatest secret that human poetry and human thought and belief have to impart. The salvation of man is through love and in love. This is the core of the human spirit. If we can find something to live for, if we can find some meaning to put at the center of our lives, even the worst kind of suffering becomes bearable. Just as a small fire is extinguished by the storm, whereas a large fire is enhanced by it, likewise a weak faith is weakened by predicament and catastrophes, whereas a strong faith is strengthened by them. Life is not primarily a quest for pleasure, as Freud believed, or a quest for power, as Alfred Adler taught, but a quest for meaning. The greatest task for any person is to find meaning in his or her own life. A man who becomes conscious of the responsibility he bears toward a human, being who affectionately waits for him, or to an unfinished work, will never be able to throw away his life. He knows the why for his existence and will be able to bear almost any how.